Hey, this is Amanda Eloesh, and I'm here with this week's Goddess Diary inspirations for having more fun, more sacredness in your life without the religion, without the dogma, but all the fun. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about plant medicine and how to use it in a really conscious way that helps it to be more potent and more effective for your healing and well-being. And this whole month of June, we've been connecting in with the Lady of Communion. And I like to think of her as a Lady of Sovereignty and Relationships, being strong within and yet being able to honor all relationships with elements, with animals, with plants, especially uh, all those aspects of nature, um, but others as well. Um, but the focus is on nature. And um, so I wanted to uh, share with you a little bit about how to tune into your plants, your plant medicines, and to create a relationship with them and make them more effective. And why would you want to do that? Well, when we, any time we take something into our system, we are, whether it's food or medicine, we, we are assimilating that information that that resource and it becomes a part of us and if we're taking it in as medicine to heal us then uh, wouldn't it be amazing to be in a little bit of a conscious dialogue with that element before it even enters your system especially if the plant medicine alters your consciousness in any way um, so today I'm going to kind of focus on um, medical marijuana because I'm here in Northern California where it's legal and used um, to support a lot of different conditions and um, it's also something that I hold near and dear to my heart because a lot of people are prescribed quite legitimately uh, medical marijuana to support them but nobody ever seems to teach about how to use medical marijuana in a way that makes it really an an effective and potent healer not just something that helps the you know the symptoms to go away but actually can be used to help you heal your body mind and spirit deeply and uh, and I have um, been the recipient of medical marijuana and have used it in a very sacred way and ceremonial way and it has healed me it has healed me from um, emotional issues it's healed me from physical conditions and um, and so I've practiced it as a part of my yoga, as a part of my meditation. I've shared it with friends and uh, way back when medical marijuana was just first on the scene um, legitimately uh, I started uh, reaching out to share this and a lot and started doing research and found nobody was offering this. Um, unfortunately I didn't have the resources to make it my main you know focus in my offerings in the world but I know that it's needed and I know that it's not really prevalent out there so um, just a brief guide of how to work and this is with any medicine it doesn't just work with cannabis or Santa Maria marijuana um, but I'm just using that as a specific uh, example you can do this with any of your plant medicines flower remedies tinctures that you've made or bought from the store doesn't matter it's it works with all of these things first um, what you want to do is connect with that um, shouldn't have a bottle here with me connect with that medicine I like to hold it to my heart and drop in see if I can tune in tune into it just have a special frequency tuning into it and the first thing is to honor it to say thank you to acknowledge it as a healer to acknowledge it as something that's giving itself has already given itself to uh, heal your life and to say thank you and that's a great way to start the relationship uh, the second thing is to let it know what's going on what do you want help with you can again I I often just do this from the heart I feel it in the heart and I communicate it through down through my hands and I'm holding the substance um, you can also breathe once you're done making the communication the prayer of connection to breathe into it um, or you know swish it around in your mouth as you're taking it in if it's a, you know if it's a tincture swish it around let it get familiar with the DNA before you totally swallow it um, so I, I I give thanks to it 
uh, I share my what I am looking for help with from that medicine, and then I bl I make a blessing with it. I bless it, uh, and that can come from any tradition. It can just come from your heart. You know, ask your guides and allies, all elements and frequencies and sentient ones who wish you well, to bless that medicine so that it works the best for you it can, and then um, and then I uh, again usually say thank you and. Uh, take it in to my body and um, and let's see is there another element seems like I might be forgetting one but um, those are the basic steps to tune in also just to really be aware yeah especially with mind-altering substances um, you know a lot of times I know it's really fun fun and popular to get high and watch a movie get high and play video games and the any time you take in a substance that alters the consciousness, we're ex we're opening ourselves up and making ourselves available to uh, other dimensions, other subtle energies, other experiences. And um, for me, it feels really important to make sure that whatever it is I'm exposing myself to, especially in the altered state, but any time, especially in altered states, when we're blown wide open and expanded, that it's something that's going to be very beneficial, music that's very healing, uh, a surrounding that's very healing, around people that I want to be open and expanded with. Um, you, usually, um, about 100% of the time nowadays, my any dance with a medicine um, that alters my consciousness is a meditation of some sort. It's a ceremony of some sort. And it's conscious and uh, so it puts me in a really beautiful space where I can receive fully of that medicines helping elements and um, I notice um, being around people who expand their consciousness I'm just kind of like wow you know you're gonna watch something violent or something upsetting or something um, you know kind of junky it's it's like being extra sensitive to the toxins of junk food you know it's junk food for the mind and we we're particularly susceptible to it when we're under the influence so just wanted to put that out there and uh, that's it for this week's goddess diary inspiration i hope that helps you connect with and appreciate and really benefit from the plant medicines in your life and until next week may the magic and the source be with you